Hey everyone, this is Scott Moore from Galaxy Comics and today's video is going to be on how we use J Channel to display comic books in my store. Um, I've been using this quite a bit lately and well for the last year and I've got probably three full walls of it so I've learned a few uh, do's and don'ts along the way and I think it looks really nice um, so I'm going to sort of explain how I do it just in case you want to do something like this at your home or store. Um, I know a lot of times these instructional videos are kind of long and boring and I fully expect this video to be no exception. So uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. Okay, this is J-Channel. Um, it's actually made for putting up vinyl siding and doing that and so you can find it in the siding section of probably any big box store like your uh, Lowe's or Home Depot or Menards or whatever. I buy all mine at Home Depot just because that's where I started picking up and I know they have the sizes I need. Um, this is a little tiny piece. Um, it comes in like 12 and a half foot sections. I think it's 150 inches more or less. But it's really cheap. Uh, a 12 foot piece of this will run you about 450. Um, so you need a top and a bottom. So to hang up a 12 foot section of wall, it's like less than 10 bucks. And on that that long of a piece, 12 foot piece, you can get like 20 or 21 books. So it's really economical um, for for putting up the comics. Um, it comes in two different sizes. There's a, this is a half inch, and then there's a three quarter inch. And it's just really, you know, obviously really slightly bigger. I have different uses for each size. Um, it kind of depends on how you want to get the books on and off the wall, whether you know, whether or not you want them to be easily removable. Um, like this stuff back here, I just use all half inch on the top and bottom because these books don't generally come down. I can take them down, but it's kind of a pain, and they're mostly just up there for display. Um, the books over behind the counter, I use both the three quarter and the half inch because I want to be able to get the books up and down easily. And I'll explain a little more how we do that um, later in the video. Um, for a long time now, probably the last 20 years or so, I've been using a product like this to do uh, display our comics. Um, these are called Snap It's, and they're made by BCW. It's just like a little black vinyl pocket with a clear front, and you just slide the comics in the top and they snap together with these little rivets that you can attach you know, on the side so you can make it longer, you can attach them on the bottom and um, it holds together that way and you just screw it up at the top and they do a pretty decent job of, um, hanging the, of displaying the books, you get nice even rows and columns and, and everything looks good. Uh, the only drawback is you can't put a lot of rows, once you get above four or five rows really about four rows. Once you get them loaded with comics, they get kind of heavy, and it really puts a lot of stress on these top um, these top holes here. Kind of stretches a little bit. And also, um, the rivets don't hold together really awesome. As long as you get up there and it's together and you don't move it a lot, it's okay, but they kind of snap apart easily. Um, about 20 years ago, they used to make something just like this called um, um, Snap Happies. I got all these snappy names. Snap Happies, which were a lot better. The, the rivets held together a lot better. And if you can find some of those on eBay or something, um, they'd be, it's a superior product, but I don't know how much those would cost you. And like I said, these work really well. If you're going to just hang them up, you, know, you want to do a few books, and you don't plan on moving them around a lot, changing stuff in and out, um, they work good for that. You have to keep them a certain distance from the ceiling. You can't go right up to the ceiling because obviously you need to take the books out of the top. And it is kind of a pain a little bit if you want to change a lot of stuff around. Like we had them in the store, and we're changing stuff around. you got to pull out all these different books and, and move them all around. If you're, if you're doing something where you're keeping them like alphabetical or something. Um, but it's a, it's a decent alternative. They're actually a little more expensive. I think a pack of 12 is like $10. Bucks. Um, so they cost you a little bit of money. But it is, these are a really quick, easy way to, uh, to get a nice display of 10 or 20 or 50 books. Um, anyway, this is what we were using before we went to the J channel. Okay, there's two different ways that you can use the J channel to um, display the books. The first way is what I have back here. I use just the half inch on both the top and the bottom, and they're spaced close enough together that you cannot easily get the books out. You'd really have to uh, you'd really have to pull on that and probably screw up the spine uh, to get the books out. So to take the books down and, and put them up in that, 
one end of the uh, display is open. If you see the, uh, the end of the wall, it actually goes right up to the end of the wall. You have to slide all of the books all the way out or slide them all the way in. So this is a, I don't know how big of a piece this is, probably 20 feet. So to put the books on this end, I literally have to slide them in that end and slide them all the way down and bump up to that. Um, but I made this so that the, the books don't come out that easily. No, the stuff's not really for sale and it's just mo it's more display. Um, it's not too bad because it's thick enough where you can actually slide one book in front of the other. So you don't have to remove every single book to add one to the end. You can add one here and kind of slide it in front of all of the other books and um, get it set up that way. One thing I would have probably done differently on this kind of display that I'm doing now is I probably would have put them in top loaders because these are all just in mylar, mylar and half, uh, like mylar plus with halfbacks. And they kind of overlap a little bit. It's real easy to kind of shift them around. And you know, if you bump into it, they get messed up. If you put them in top loaders, the idea is if you put them in top loaders, they shouldn't um, overlap as much and it'll make a little, a little neater display. Everything will be in a great, nice straight rows and columns. Okay, so that's using just half inch. The other way of using the J channel is using the three quarter inch piece on the top and the half inch piece on the bottom and spacing them so that you can actually lift the book and take it out of, of the J channel without sliding it uh, on the ends. We do this with our CGC comics. Um, all you have to do on these is you lift them up and you can take it out this way. These are just uh, scans of CGC books, but they're actual size. So, I mean, the CGC books work just the same way. So you, you just slide it up in the top, put it in there, holds it nice and tight. And that way you could have a, a display of these or a row of these um, where you can take the books easily in and out without messing around. And you could go right up to the corners of a room then. That's the you know, problem with that other one is you need an open end. These you could have um, inside corners on both ends if you wanted to. And they come in and out real easy if you get your spacing right. This is what we're doing now behind the counter. I'm going to put everything in top loaders and then be able to pick them up and out um, real easily without having to mess around with, with a bunch of other books. To cut the J-channel, I just use a miter saw. Um, you can use a box cutter or a razor blade or whatever, but honestly, it's really kind of a pain, and you'll end up literally bending the J-channel, kind of warping it out of shape. Um, using a saw, you just measure off your piece, put a little mark, and cut it. Um, this gives you an idea of how long these pieces are initially. This is a full piece. You just put your mark, put your saw right on there, cut right through, it's nice and neat, clean-ish, and that's what I'll do for all of the pieces that we put up on the wall. The next thing you want to do is make yourself a template for the spacing in between the top and bottom pieces of J-channel. You can make it out of any kind of piece of cardboard. This is a uh, thin cardboard that came with our shipping boxes and it's kind of thin but it's, it's stiff so I stapled three or four pieces together and then you can just cut it off to your height. This is another one that I made that's just out of regular corrugated cardboard but I still taped two pieces together. Uh, anything as long as you get nice square corners. You just don't want to have it be, be crooked. Uh, for the half inch, we're going to use a half inch on top and bottom where you have to slide the books out the end. They're sort of the non-removable ones. You want your template to be a quarter of an inch taller than the comic you're putting up there. So these are using halfbacks and halfbacks are ten and a half inches tall. So this is my template for that and I cut this at ten and three quarter inches. Quarter inch more. If I was using um, top loaders that are eleven inches and I want to do the slidey thing, I would make them you know, eleven and a quarter. If you're doing the three quarter inch on top with the half inch on bottom where, where you want to lift the books lift the books in and out, have them be removable, you add five eighths of an inch. So for example, the CGC books are 13 inches tall. So I made this one 13 and five eighths inches tall. The new display that we're doing, I'm using top loaders and they're 11 inches tall. So this is my top loader removable. And I cut this 11 and five eighths inches tall. And that's, that's pretty much it. So you want to have that cut because it makes it, as I'll show you when I put pieces up, it makes it much, 
much easier to get everything nice and straight and even. To attach the J channel to the wall, I just use regular old drywall screws and just screw, I screw through the plastic. I don't use the little slotty parts. I just go right through the plastic so it holds a little better. Um, you just have to, you can butt it up to the ceiling or you can either start at the very bottom and work your way up. You work at the, start at the top along the ceiling and work your way down or you can even start in the middle as long as your first piece is straight. Um, that's all you really need to do. So I'm just gonna butt this up to this one and throw a couple of screws in here real quick. Okay, so that's your top piece, a top piece. Um, once you get that in, you just grab your spacer that you made. I have it marked with little arrows so that I know I don't put it sideways and screw up my spacing on everything before I get a bunch of screws in. So you just want to line it up. For these ones, I'm lining up with the edge because I'm not going right to the corner. And you want to make sure you push your spacer back um, all, completely up to the wall. You don't want to have it bent or crooked or anything. So that's good there. Make it nice and snug. Throw a couple screws in there. And then you can just slide it down as you go. Just slide the spacer over. Make sure that it's um, pushed against the back. The next thing you want to do once you get a row done is check the spacing on it. Um, there's nothing worse than getting two, three, four rows done and finding out that your top row was crooked or too narrow and you have to tear everything down and put it all back up. So I take my book, it's in a top loader. I have this measured to, uh, to use top loaders instead of uh, graded books. And it slides right up in there, drops down nice and neat, does not come out. You want to check along the whole length to make sure that it's not going to fall out at any point, but it still slides in and out very easily. Very easy to change one book at a time without disturbing really the other books. Um, the way I have to do it on the other wall, the ones that are just display only, that are a little tighter, that's where you just have to literally slide the book out the end. You would slide it in this way, slide book after book after book, you just slide them in this way. But that is set up for that. There you have it. A uh, really nice, easy way to display your comic books. Uh, you get nice, even rows and columns. Everything looks real good. It's real easy to take out one book at a time without messing with the rest of the display. And really, you can, uh, you can just put this up anywhere. Um, so if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, just leave them in the, uh, the comment section. And uh, thanks for watching.